Stockholm City Hall, as you know from your stickers, that means that this is a political head office of someone. If Stockholm was a corporation, this would be the HQ. This is where political decisions are made for Stockholm. So the architect that I'm going to expect, you see the bust of him above the door in the corner. He won a competition in 1902 because Stockholm was growing and it needed a building to house its politicians for offices, meetings, and also grand festivities to represent the city. He won it in 19. As the name indicates, you look at your nature with very romantic eyes and then you pick your favorite styles, legends, materials, details. As you or while you're at it, you can also look wider and pick up handicrafts and materials. So you are now standing in this Italian piazza. We have a fountain over there, a little balcony, a comfortable colonnade where you can walk and think about life. If you look out, we have a medieval castle. So it's quite a mix. And if you look at the material, we're standing here on Swedish marble from south of Stockholm. The pillars are made of granite from the Stockholm archipelago, and the bridge is also made just south of Stockholm. The brick, the original plan was to cover the walls in plaster and paint it blue because the architect also wanted to play with details of water and the fact that Stockholm is a city between Lake Mälaren and the Baltic Sea. But as you know, no, the building went on for many, many years. So a blue hall was known to be the grand festival of the building. So people just talking about blue hall, blue hall, blue hall. And one day the architect came in and it probably looked a bit like this, with the sunlight playing on the bricks. And the different colors come of the brick being burned at different temperatures. And he thought, this is so beautiful. I cannot cover this in blue. So they kept the bricks and they kept the name. That's why we still call it the blue hall today. That are out of sync, but very much thought through of the architect. Definitely. So we are now going to continue down the long corridor. Council chamber. This is the political heart of the building and the very reason why we have this grand house to begin with. This room was taken into use a full year before the city hall opened in 1923. It must have been very peaceful to be working in a construction site. We have elections every four years and then we vote on three levels. The national level, the regional level that handles healthcare, public transportation and larger infrastructure projects. And then the local level, which is what we're seeing here that handles housing, education, childcare, care for the elderly, care for the disabled, city planning and parks. So all the issues that are closest to your home. Out of these 101 council members, only 13 are full-time politicians. The majority do this in their spare time. And they come here every third Monday, afternoon and evening to have meetings. In Stockholm, we also don't have a mayor in the traditional sense, but that role is divided in two. You have the president of the council, who sits here, who heads up these meetings and have a more of a representational role of the city. And then you have what we call the mayor of finance, who's responsible for the budget and the more heavier political responsibility. The current majority are the Social Democrats, the left and the Green Party and the opposition are the more liberal conservative parties, five of them. 
So the eight parties represented in this local government are the same eight parties that are represented in the national government. Although on the national government, we have a conservative majority, and here we have the social democratic majority. Stockholmers, however, seem to have quite a short memory span because every election minus one in the early 2000s, it changes. <laughs> so you can be strategic in where you get yourself involved in politics if you want to aim for civil politics. Out of these 101, how many do you think are women? And please remember the country you're in. 64. 64, very nice guess. Do we have any other bits? 71. 71. I'm pleased, but you're very optimistic. <laughs> A bit too optimistic. The current number is 51 women and 50 men. But since 1991, there's never been fewer than 48 women. And since the 70s, about 40, 60 percentage. So these meetings are open to the public. Then you come and sit at the bleachers up here. You don't have to sign up before, you just can show up and come. On the other side, we have the media. And of course, you can sit at home and stream your meetings and take part of it. While we're on the topic of women, I would also like you to bring your attention to the textiles in this room. The carpets and the curtains are made by a woman called Maya Pöster, who was one of very few women involved in decorating and building this house. And if you continue even further up, you see the ceiling. The original plan was to have a covered ceiling, but one day the architect came in and he looked up and he saw the beams and he thought, this is so beautiful, we have to keep it this way. So he covered the steel in wood and had them painted in this traditional folkloric style. The red parts are canvas, also to help with the acoustic, and then pick different images from the Stockholm history. And the blue part can be seen as a sky, open sky, that's a symbol for the democracy and the openness. So the decisions here get wings and can fly out to Stockholmers, or Stockholmers can peek in through the window if they don't want to log into the internet and stream <laughs> the meeting. <laughs> Do we have any questions on this room or Swedish politics? Are the top two rules, are they voted elect directly by the population or by the members of council? So the top two rules are from the majority party. So when we vote, we vote for parties. So more ideas and ideologies than actual people. But each party will have a list of their 20 top candidates. So among the winning party, they will choose who will be represented. The one with the, the mayor of finance, that's more chosen by the political party. And the president of the council is chosen by all, since in this case, a he will have a more representational role so that everyone should feel comfortable. So 
squares in Old Town, and her father was a soldier who now worked at the royal castle. But they passed away, and she started working at a tavern in Old Town, owned by a Dutchman. And as you can see, Eric XIV liked women. He had a lot of women. But he saw her, and he, she caught his attendant children, but he had 355 patents in his name, and an immense fortune. So most famously, he invented diamonds. And in his will, he stated that the majority of this money should go to award scientific breakthroughs that benefit humanity. Do we know the five different categories for the Nobel Prize? Peace, very good. Basics, chemistry, medicine, literature, literature. literature. Economics is a separate one that was instated by the Swiss Central Bank memory of it. As they wanted to invite more and more people, they moved the facilities down the stairs. But we still have the kitchen. Above the corners, you see the elevators where they bring down the food. Because you can fit more people down there. So this is where you had, this is where you started to have the facilities. But then you felt, okay, if we can invite no character. But she represents Stockholm, mm. and she's holding the city hall and the city in her lap. This day, compared to the history we've seen on the other sides, is one day in history, which is June 23rd, 1923, the day city hall opened, Midsummer's Eve. The whole world, the West and the East, have gathered to celebrate Stockholm. As you can see, these are quite stereotypical images, which also show like the 1920s worldview, which is the sign of um, late June. So this whole day is to celebrate the opening and the completion of City Hall. Why then would you choose this specific day, June 23rd, well, and one years ago from today? He's a very famous king for many reasons. Maybe most significant in Swedish society today because he abolished Catholicism. When he grew up, he grew up a Catholic, like people had done in generations in Sweden before him, and Latin was preached in churches. He introduced the Bible in Swedish. The Gustav Vasa Bible came out in 1542. And of course, this was a way to unify the country when people read and heard the same language. Before him, we elected our kings. He was elected. He decided that the king should now be a bloodline. So the son, or today the daughter, the eldest born child of the king will be the one that passes on the throne. And thirdly, after him we have no longer been fighting bloody wars with our arch enemy Denmark. And I really like to be reminded that bloody Hateful relationship between natures can become peaceful friendship. So it's good to think. The king opens the parliament at the end of the summer every year, and then they're purely a representation of the Goes up. The stairs also have its own 
architect knew that he wanted to have grand balls. And these women, wearing their finest gowns and high heels, she feel comfortable walking down the stairs. So he made different prototypes and had his wife and her best friend dress up and try them out. And this is now the women. And this is all the the medical uh, services we were provided with during the 1800s. So he wanted to increase the knowledge in the sector. Fourthly, literature was his first love. He wanted to be a poet. But like many parents, his father told him that you should be an engineer. <laughs> a better career choice. So, and peace, we think it's because during his lifetime, an obituary, a text that people write about you when you pass away, was published, even though he was still alive. And given that he had been to dynamite, this text portrayed him as someone contributing to destruction and wars. And he did not want to go down to history being known for that. That's why we have the Peace Prize. The Peace Prize, however, is awarded in Oslo, the capital of Norway. So they cannot come here and celebrate the festivities, have dinner here and go dancing up in the Golden Hall. The other prizes are awarded at the concert hall in the center of Stockholm, and then they come here to dine and dance. Mm -hmm. 